Hey guys, we are going to do a drugstore haul today. I just want to mention, since we're talking about the drugstore and mostly Revlon products, I want to tell you, I put a video up on my vlog channel about the CVS beauty clearance sale. And it's kind of like a how-to because I've put up hauls before about the beauty clearance and showed you what I got, but for some people it's kind of hard to figure out, you know, how it works. So I show you how I did it, what I got, the prices of everything. I even show you the scanner and, you know, how to scan your stuff and everything like that. I'll link it below. They had some great deals. Need I tell you anymore when I say I got a lip butter for 75% off. This bad boy was like $2. So yeah, it was really good. So I'll link it below. You can check it out. Um, the sale doesn't have like an end date or anything like that. This is all stuff they're just trying to move out of CVS. So um, check that out if you want some discounted cosmetics. Everything I got was 75% off except for two items. When I got Revlon stuff, uh, Rimmel stuff, that kind of thing. So check that out below. Now we're gonna get to the haul. Uh, these are some products people have been asking me about and I finally found the display in a vlog that I posted a week ago today. New Revlon uh, stuff, lipsticks, lip glosses. I'm gonna show you some other stuff first and then we'll get to that. Now, this is some stuff I picked up this weekend. I'll start with that and then we'll get to the Revlon at the end. Uh, Jessie's Girl, they have a new liquid liner. Um, this is black, waterproof liquid liner. It was $6.99 at Rite Aid and I'll go ahead and link the vlog video for this. You know, I just take you around the store with me. In case you have any interest, I'll link it below as well. I love the packaging. I was like $6.99, I might have to try that and the tip look at the tip the tip looks really good I'm excited to try this if you say something is waterproof I'm crazy about black liner so I was like ooh, nice line so I will let you know how that is I was excited I like the packaging a lot another liner uh, a lot of people are gonna be surprised I went and found the other cover girls displays and um, I showed them again in that vlog but I got the uh, new liner it's called ink it there were a couple different color options I showed the different color options but the one that I got was black ink Big surprise, right? Um, this liner is interesting because it's self-sharpening, so you don't have to sharpen it and waste any product. Uh, it also says it's crate, uh, crease and fade resistant as well as waterproof. So I was like, ooh, that's great for the summer. Um, so I'm be testing that out as well. Looks really nice. Ink it. Let's see the tip. Oh, it's hard to open. Ooh, my arthritis. Okay. Um, yeah, so does it have a little... Oh! It clicks when you, it clicks when you uh, twist it up. Get a good shot of that, and I'll um, draw the line. Okay, it just popped off. I'll click you again and try you again. Okay, that's better. Very smooth and nice. Uh, that is on top the CoverGirl ink it. Not a bad line. Uh, we had a little, little issue, but we'll be checking that out. Uh, I also found the single shadows. Uh, the ink it, gosh, I forget how much it was. I think it was five something. I got that stuff, uh, this this CoverGirl stuff at Bed Bath and Beyond. It was like five forty nine, something like that, at Bed Bath and Beyond. I also found the single shadows. These were three forty nine each, and I've heard things. But you know, I like to try out things myself and get back to you because people. It's so funny with a lot of products. People are like, "Are you going to try this?" Or, Everybody's been writing me and say this, <laughs> saying this sucks. Can you, can you try it and tell the world it sucks? Um, this is number three fifty-five. I've been showing you for like a, a straight minute. Uh, this is three fifty-five. It was hard for me to find colors I really wanted. I mean, some the display is either the colors in the display, which I showed. Um, in that video are either going to really speak to you or maybe not, but I got some colors I thought I would be excited about. Uh, there are some pretty bright colors and interesting colors too. There's a really bright blue, there's a, a kind of red color. This is 330 and again, these are $3.49 each, so um, I'm hoping they work out because they're at a really good price point. Okay, this was interesting to me. Sally Hansen Fuzzy Coat Nail Polish. Uh, there are a lot of different colors. I go over the whole display, uh, but the one that I picked up is called Woolite, and these are $5.49 at Kmart, and I had a dollar something off, so I paid like four bucks for it, but I definitely wanted to try it. Um, it's just supposed to make your nails look fuzzy. My biggest problem with stuff like that is I love a glossy finish, so I end up putting on a top coat. I'm going to try not to, you know, maybe... Every other nail, I'll put a top coat on, see how that looks. Um, the other thing Sally Hansen had is a sugar coat, and this is just like a pure textured look. Um, 
this was very inexpensive too. This color is called Bubble Plum. I thought it was gorgeous. Uh, the display really shows you how the nails look. I just thought it was really interesting. I would be tempted to put a top coat on that as well, but we'll see. I'll try to hold off. Okay, uh, oh, one more CoverGirl product. I almost forgot. Now, this I've heard the worst things about. It is the CoverGirl Flamed Out Shadow Pencil. I had trouble picking out a color, but I did. Um, the color that I got, oh my gosh. Oh, when I took off the, this, everything had like um, plastic on it. This is an, is this another one of those CoverGirl things that doesn't have the color on it? It's number 350. I'll give you a closer look at it. And yeah, so I'll go ahead and swatch it as well. Ugh, all these things are hard to open. Okay, let me, you want to see the pencil too? There it is. And, ah, pretty color. I'll definitely be trying that out. Nice kind of a interesting pewter. Again, it's kind of hard for me to find out color. All right, here comes the Revlon. Now, these are new packages. Uh, so they're new packaging, really nice looking. Um, but there are some really great colors. And the lipsticks have a finish. Uh, the finish is called Shine. So I'm very interested to see what that is like. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the lipsticks. And I'll go ahead and do the pink one. It's number 815 Fuchsia Shock. Looks really pretty. Let's see, I'm going to... <laughs> I've done that before where I've swatched for you and the whole I broke off the whole tip of the lipstick. Now it's very sheer looking. Now I'm I'm going over it a couple times to get some color and there it is. Really really pretty. Again, that's Fuchsia Shock number 815 with that shine finish. Hmm, interesting. You never know till you try it on the lips, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the gloss that I got. Uh this gloss, look at that. Isn't that mm, I love the way that looks. Uh this is called Fuchsia Finery. And um, yeah, you Revlon as experts are going to be able to tell me if that is a, a gloss that they had before, if this is a new one. Maybe they're doing, you know, new and old. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Ooh. Yeah, this is very sheer, guys. Very sheer gloss. Uh, there it is right there on top. That is the Fuchsia Finery. Still pretty, though. I'd love to layer these together. I bet they'd be very, very moisturizing. All right, next up we'll do, this is in the display. I'll put that video below too. Uh, <laughs> Rich Girl Red, number 830, shine finish. Rich Girl Red, this is what that girl Emma is wearing in the display, so I was like, ooh, that looks good. All right, it is red, that is very sheer. <laughs> I'm going over and over. Okay, that shows up very, very sheer. It almost looks like a gloss, huh? So I'm guessing this shine finish is a very, um, which is nice for summer, I think. Some people maybe if you're looking for a ton of uh, pigmentation, this looks like it may um, be not something that you <laughs> expect to get from Revlon. Uh, this is really pretty. It's a red gloss. It's called Fatal Apple. I swear, if you have like arthritis or issues, you are not going to be able to get half this stuff open today. I can open pill bottles, but not Revlon lip glosses, it looks like. Okay, I got it open finally. <laughs> All right, yeah, it's very sheer. I wonder how they got that dark, yeah, that picture. This is almost darker than the lipstick. Look at that, very interesting. The, lip, the, the lipstick is right there, and the gloss is right there. So together, they must make a deep color. Maybe they did a mixture of that on her uh, to make it show up that deep. All right, uh, last up, oh, oh, Berry Couture, number 835. I really thought this was pretty. I'll do it on the other hand. Ah, it's kind of a light one. Very pretty, though. Berry Couture, number 835. The other gloss that I got is a beautiful coral, but... It is a coral you may be familiar with. It is Kiss Me Coral. And don't they make a lipstick in Kiss Me Coral? It's got a lot of shimmer in it. You'll see that in the swatch, hopefully. Ah, a little bit. It's kind of hard for it to pick the camera to pick that up, but there's a lot of shimmer in that. And let me try to do the tube again, so maybe it shows up in the tube. Yeah, you can see the shimmer in there. Yeah, so really pretty color. Uh, I'm all about these shades, these kinds of shades right around now. So guys, check out all the links below. Uh, 
They were $7.99 each, the lipsticks and the lip glosses from Revlon, $7.99 each. I got them from Walgreens. So check everything out, guys, and uh, I will talk to you very soon. I announced the next uh, brand that I'm going to do best of the brand from uh, on Twitter and uh, Instagram yesterday, and everybody seems excited, so that's the next video you'll see um, where I go over the best products uh, from a brand, and I'm doing a high-end brand this time around. A lot of you are really good with the feedback and let me know, you know, to mix some high-end brands in there just because at that, you know, a higher price point, it's kind of good to see what is really worth the money, so I definitely want to do that for you. So I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.